Hi, my name is Trish Advani and today I'm going to explain in the easiest way possible the DML commands for database. Data manipulation language or DML are actually used to manipulate data from the database. They consist of four simple statements. All of them are used to fetch, either fetch or manipulate data from the database. That's why they're called data manipulation language. As I said, it consists of four simple statements. There's a select statement, update statement, insert statement and delete statement. Starting with the first one, which is the insert statement and the simplest one, select statement is actually used to fetch or even retract data from the database. It's eventually used to get certain data from the, a particular table from the database. So do not understand it as a retraction of data from a database, but from a particular table. The query is as follows, select star from the name of the table. Here the star actually represents the name of the column. In this case, star is all the columns, but you can replace the star with the column name you want to retract. Star, again, will retract all the columns from the entire table. You can even use a where clause in order to specify a condition. So where something is equals to something, and something, first of all, can be a column name equal to the value. So this is used to specify a particular condition. And that's basically it. Select statement, again, returns a table, and this table is actually called as a result set. In some languages it's also referred to as a data set in case of .NET. Okay? So it's a result set or data set depending on the language you're using. Alright, so next statement is actually the insert statement. Insert statement is eventually used to add a single record or a row within the database. Now insert statement is uh, actually very simple. It does not have a where clause, do keep that in mind. Where clauses are not available in insert statement because you cannot specify condition on inserting things. So the statement is as insert table name, insert, sorry, insert into table name, then you specify the column names, values, and the name of the, va uh, the values itself. So the column names and the values should match. So eventually if you type in name first, then the value first one should be name as well. Okay. The data type of the column and the value should eventually match. It will insert a simple record within the table. The column names, you can specify all the columns or you can specify a single column that's depending on you. You can specify as many as you want. So that's insert statement. The update statement is uh, another statement which is used to manipulate or change existing record or row from the table itself. Okay. So update is a form, the statement is as follows. Update. Uh, the table name set value is equal column is equals to value now here what we do is we replace the original value with a certain value that's why you specify column name is equals to a particular value here you can use a where clause to specify a condition so where clause it can be to specify or target a particular row like if you want to update the name where the ID is one so you would say type in update table name set name is equals to John where ID is equals to 2. That's how you do it. As simple as that, used to again update or manipulate data from the t table which already has a record. Alright, next and the last one is the delete statement. Delete statement is, is the simplest one. Here it's used eventually to delete a particular record or multiple records from a table. Do keep in mind that it does not delete the table itself or neither the structure, just removes the records from the table itself. You can remove all the records by specifying the following command or you can use the where clause eventually to remove a specific amount of records. So that's basically what DML commands is. It's actually very simple. It applies to, uh, again, used to fire on a database on a specific table. And that's basically it just replace where it says table name to the name of your table and column name, whatever column you want. So anyway, this has been Channel of Chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.